coach for first games. What did you think about the squad that you had on the ice and how they kind of won? Well, I, I think Chicago is a good team. They have a lot of veterans. They've got a history of um, generating a lot of offense. So going into the game, you know, our primary objective was to try and slow them down and uh, try and control the pace of the game. And I thought for the most part, we did a good job five on five. Um, a lot of special teams, a lot of penalties, both directions. And that kind of creates a different feel for the game. But overall, I was happy with the way we played. The penalties, I think the sloppy play, is that just because it's the first game, the first actually regular season game, that it's after like weeks of training camp and stuff, that's now we're actually playing a game that matters? Um, I just think it's a hockey game. Yeah. Guys are trying, and it's, it's first real game for the referees, too, right? So I don't think there was any hidden agenda. It was just it was that type of game. Coach, seeing you guys fight back from a couple of different deficits, what does that do for you dealing with some adversity early in the season? It, it's good. I mean, it shows that we compete, that you know, we're going to continue to pressure the puck. And, um, you know, like they're a, they're a veteran team, Chicago, as they have some veteran players and they're younger defensemen they are very dynamic so they add to the offense um, you know that's a that's a tough game for a young team like us to manage and I thought we did a really good job coming back a little disappointing the last few minutes I thought they carried the play and that's one of our objectives playing at a high altitude is that we should be able to you know you know play play with a pace that's gonna you know generate some offense and we kind of lost that the last three minutes. How's the overall atmosphere in the locker room right now? Good. I mean, they went down. I mean, it's a, you know, you, nobody likes to lose. You know, we got a point, which is a, which is a good thing. And, you know, just the, the overtime was, and that's the other thing. We haven't even talked about overtime. And, uh, you know, they have three veteran guys out there that they were smart. They dragged the peg out, puck out in the neutral zone, and they, you know, they knew we were tired, and that's a smart play. I've seen it a number of times in the NHL, and they kind of wait for guys to try and change, and they re-attack, and they got a 2-1-1. -on we'll learn from it. What was the, when it went into your decision of signing Hall as captain? Um, he's just a, a veteran. He's a leader. The organization has a lot of respect for him. I think he's a valuable asset, and uh, that's how it played out. What? What were your thoughts on the atmosphere tonight? Uh, obviously, a pretty, pretty raucous crowd there. What did that do for you guys? It's a great crowd. I mean, that's a, and that's like having a, you know, a six skater on the ice when you have that support. Very, you know, it's very unusual in the American League. Uh, in most buildings, they have this much of a crowd in there. So, it's uplifting, and there's a great tradition here. There's a lot of history. The fans have a lot of passion, and that's a, you know, for us, it's a huge, it's a huge asset. It's a huge bonus. Coach Bednar has talked a lot in the last week or so about the partnership with the Eagles and setting guys up there because they don't he doesn't want them sitting down at the NHL. Getting all these veteran guys the last few days, how much of a benefit is it for you to have an experience, but also how tough is it chemistry wise to try and get a team together? Well, it's a good question and it's it's really um, you know the first week we were here, we were looking at the lineup, the last Friday, the game we played last Friday, there's like three guys that were in that game still here. Then on Saturday, there's I think nine guys played that are still here. And then as the week went forward, you know, guys were coming up, whether it was Sofsky coming back from the injury, and then Alt, and then uh, Lindholm, and then Kamenev. So you've got this changing, you know, uh, identity to your group. But the good thing is they're good players, so we're getting good players. We may lose a little bit of that chemistry you develop in your line combinations during the week, but you know, you're gaining talent. So um, one of the things that we want to try and do is we want to have transparency from the avalanche to here. And, and we have to communicate to our players that you may be here all week practicing, and if somebody does get called up the day of the game, they're going to play. And that's Joe and Chris and and that's their that's their mentality and that's the way they want to run and we have to we have to accept that and um, it goes both ways guys that get sent down there they may be here all week and they go down and play a game so I think it's a win-win situation for everybody it might it might sting the player that has to sit out a game but in the long run it'll work out they only have 21 players that are on uh, roster right now you expect some calls when they head on the road um I'm not sure what's going to happen I don't have any feedback about that what did you see tonight out of uh, some of the young guys playing their first professional games like Cowboys? Sure. 
Well, I thought, you know, Sheriff was, you know, he's a dynamic player and he's not on the power point, he's not on the penalty kill, so he doesn't get the ice time some of the other guys are getting, but he's totally engaged in the game and it's a big face-off with win he had on that tying goal. I thought Cal played well. I mean, one of the things these guys are going to have to learn is that the pace of the game is going to, you know, going to have to be built into their habits. You can see Chicago plays with a lot of pace. They've got, you know, a vet, like I said, they got a veteran team and, and we're going to have to develop that type of identity that's mirroring what's going on with the Avalanche. The Avalanche have the, the last night's game was terrific watching them. Great, great pressure on the puck and back pressure. We've got to try and develop that type of identity too. Thanks for your time, Thank you. Thank you.